This tutorial is about the Google Plus app. So if you'll remember from the Google Plus tutorials, it is basically um, Google's version of Facebook or Twitter, if you will. Um, and there is an app for it. It doesn't come preloaded on your iPad, but you can go into the App Store, search for it, and download it for free from there. So I'm going to search for Plus. Oops. Google, maybe. Yeah, Google Plus and open the app that way. Now again, as with any of the apps, the first thing you the first time you log in, it's going to require you to insert your username and password, but after that, it will remember you whenever you come back. So, the home is basically just um, your news feed and you can scroll through to see anything that anyone um, in your circles or communities that you follow um, have posted recently. So this is kind of where you just go um, to, you know, explore, if you will, what the people, what people are posting. If you want to add a new post, you would click on the pencil in the bottom right corner. Um, just again, it, Google makes it very simple because anytime you're in any of the applications and you want to make any edits, you look for the pencil. So I'm going to say working on tutorials on this snowy Monday. Okay, now if I wanted to add a picture, I would click the picture, you can add any of those. Um, if I wanted to add a link, I could do that as well. Um, if I click here on the Fountaindale staff, that's going to allow me to change who gets to see this. So I'm going to change it to WCPS. And then the three little dots allow me to disable comments or reshares if I don't want people to have that um, ability. So I'm going to post. And now again, it'll load into my um, home screen. And um, basically, that's kind of what your home page is for, just to kind of see what's happening and for you to add things if you would like. Um, so also along the bottom, you have collections. If you click there, just like the website, it's going to give you all the featured collections that you can explore as much as you wish. If you click on following, it's going to bring you to the, the collections that you are currently following. And then obviously under yours, it's the, the collections that you have created. So anybody that has posted anything into any of these collections, um, any of that stuff will become visible whenever you click on that. Very similar with communities on the bottom. There are recommended ones that you can join and explore. Um, you, if you click member, it'll show you all the ones that you are currently a member of, and then yours are the ones that you have created. Um, under notifications in the bottom right corner, it's going to list for you any um, notifications, any, things, any um, communications that have happened directly involving you recently will show there. By clicking the three lines in the top left corner, you have access to a variety of settings. You can change your profile. So if you click on profile, this is basically you and what you've posted. Up in the top right corner, there's a little eye. Click on that. It will allow you to um, view and edit any of the information that you have um, included about yourself. By clicking the plus, gives you the option to add some of the information that you might not already have included. Also under the three lines, you can choose people. This is going to show you all of the people in your circles. So this is where you would go to um, edit and um, view your circles and to post things to your circles as well. Uh, you can also change settings. It actually gives you the uh, ability to change a lot of the settings here, more so than some of the other apps. A profile we've already looked at, notifications. This is where you decide when and how you want to be notified about what things. And again, each one has its own um, the kind of toggle thing that you can turn on and off based on your preference. Um, there is an activity log. There's photos. Um, and then there's also an advanced setting. And it looks like we only have access to one enable circle stream and navigation. So if you would like for that to happen, you could turn that toggle switch on. Um, again, anytime you want to get back to home, you can click in the bottom left corner on home. And that will show you kind of your main um, news feed, if you will. Uh, last thing about the app for... Google Plus, up in the corner, there's a search bar, so you can search for things. Um, if you have hashtagged to um, label any of your posts, you could search for that tag here. If you want to look for anything specific or if you want to look for a certain person, you could search there, and it will bring all of those things up. So that, again, is the um, Google Plus application for iOS um, on the iPad. Thank you for joining me.